What's that noise, Mr. Croc? It's a chicken. Four-year-old Madison McGee was born profoundly deaf. At the age of two, something happened which radically changed her life. She was fitted with a cochlear implant. Now she goes to a mainstream school and listens, speaks and plays like any other little girl of her age. The hearing world is open to her. Without it, she wouldn't have been a speaking child. She'd have been a signing child. So I think it's just made her life 100% better. I'm going to turn the sound off. Now I'm going to make it louder. Pat Smethurst has so come to the time, Ear, Nose and Throat I Clinic today to have the speech processor that works with her implant fine-tuned. She has bilateral implants, one for each ear. Two, she says, are far better than one. She says she's noticed a big improvement since having the second implant fitted nine years ago. You've got surround sound. If, um, if you're in company, I could hear people to my right. But then, if somebody spoke to me on my left, I didn't always catch what they were saying. To but now, I'm just like a normal hearing person. I can follow a conversation much easier. OK. There's a little chain of bones vibrating here. And here's the inner ear, cochlea. And then Professor Richard Ramsden leads the implant brain. team here in Manchester. Well, he showed me how the system works. There are two parts, the implant which sits under the skin and it's connected to the speech processor which hooks behind the ear. It has microphones which pick up sound, converting it to electronic signals and transmitting them through the skin. They're then sent to electrodes fitted inside the cochlea which mimic hearing. It's remarkable technology and the team here says it changes lives. The majority of people will get a cochlear implant through, um, through the, the health service. However, there are still one or two purchasing authorities who are in denial about this and, uh, uh, and, and refuse or are extremely reluctant to fund uh, cochlear implantation. Uh, this is a, a decreasing number, but it's still worrying that this attitude should still prevail. Some people may claim cochlear implants are a costly procedure, but Cochlear Europe say the benefits someone will receive far outweigh the expense. And once fitted, they say the implants should last for life. Cochlear Europe lead the market in this technology with their innovative products and they invest heavily in research and development. I think you have to look at the heritage of the company. Um, we've been a company that has been around the longest. Um, we stand by um, our vision is here now and always. That means that we stay with the child or the adult from the time they're implanted right the way through their life. <laughs> Madison McGee's family would say no price could be put on the power of hearing. They know Madison will never be cured of her deafness, but with a cochlear implant, she'll function as a hearing child, connected to the sounds of the world around her. Yay.